Good afternoon, Mike Jones, Fire Chief of the City of Fredericksburg. Let's talk a little bit about the COVID-19 update. First, the statistics. As of today, there are now over 1,000 cases positive in the Rappahannock Area Health District, which includes Fredericksburg and the four surrounding counties. Total positive cases is 1,059. Uh, Fredericksburg's uh, cases are up to 101. They were that the other day. Uh, we had no new cases overnight. There were 27 new cases in the health district uh, since the last reporting period. Stafford now has a total of 514, Spotsylvania 351, King George is holding steady at 48, and uh, Caroline is at 45. Uh, there are still only 14 deaths uh, in the health district, so that is good news, and we haven't had that increase in, in over a week, probably close to two weeks. Uh, as far as testing goes, there's a lot of controversy and, and concern about testing right now. The positivity or positive cases versus number of people that are tested in the state is running uh, just uh, below 15 percent. And in the uh, local health district, the positivity has come down to just above 14 percent. Over the weekend, it spiked at 17.5 uh, percent. So we'll see if that is a, a continuation and it becomes a trend or it moves back and forth like a lot of our numbers have. As of this morning, there were 35 people in the hospital that are diagnosed po positive for COVID-19. Uh, that is up about three since yesterday. Uh, we'll put the uh, Commonwealth statistics and the uh, United States statistics up on our written page uh, when you get that. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, information that's come out over the last couple days related to the local health department. Uh, there was an issue with the local health department where one of their workers had tested positive for COVID-19. Uh, that individual um, did have uh, some access and worked through the common areas of the Bass Ellison building over on Jackson Street. That building was then shut down and cleaned, uh, deep cleaned completely. Uh, it is now ready for occupancy again by both the health department and the Department of Social Services. Uh, it was basically done as an abundant of abundance of caution. We didn't really think that there was a major issue there, but we wanted to make sure that we take care of our personnel and, and the citizens and everything like that. We want to make sure that they have a safe and secure environment to work in. So we uh, erred on the side of caution and deep cleaned that building completely. It is good to go as of this morning, and uh, the people will be occupying that as of tomorrow. Uh, let's talk a little bit about something else that's been in the news here lately, and that's what is known as multi-system inflammatory syndrome. You've probably heard a little bit about that if you've watched the news related to children that have either been COVID positive or have uh, potential for the novel coronavirus. And that is a system where they get uh, an inflammatory syndrome related to uh, their various body organ parts and things like that. Um, some of the things that you can look out for if your child is sick is do they have a fever lasting more than 24 hours, uh, abdominal pain, diarrhea, or vomiting, uh, rashes or changes in skin color, trouble breathing, and does your child appear confused or overly sleepy? If any or all of these conditions persist and you notice that they're not getting well, then you should definitely seek out uh, immediate medical attention from a uh, physician or at the emergency department. And finally, uh, this week, May 17th through 23rd, 2020, is EMS week in the United States. Uh, it's time to thank and honor our frontline EMS providers in all the various settings that they operate in, especially those who respond to emergencies in ambulance, medic units, and fire apparatus. If you see them out and about this week, say hello or wave from a safe distance and let them know that you appreciate all they do for the communities that they serve. We'll talk again on Friday. Thank you.